Hello and Randy here. Boy, would you folks just look at that dumb garage door opener there. I'm telling you folks, I mean, it, it's got a button on the wall. I'm not, I'm not even sure how you use that thing. It's, it's just pathetic, that one. So we've got something that'll hopefully fix that here today. This is a Miros Smart Wi-Fi garage door opener. We're gonna be putting on the garage door opener and that will hopefully allow us to control it here from our smartphone. This uh, particular one is the Apple compatible one because again, I, I've got an iPhone one, so we're gonna see once how that works here. Uh, one thing I do wanna make note of this, uh, to my understanding, one, you do need to have a garage door opener that can be uh, shorted out between the terminals for the buttons. Uh, in other words, you connect, you connect the wires together and it should open and close the door, right? Um, if you got one that has like some of the more smarter uh, centers there, then this might not work, but this one should here because uh, yeah, it's just a two-wire button on this uh, particular setup. Inside the kit here, we've got a couple of pieces. We got the uh, unit itself here, which has a uh, connection for the sensor, a uh, power connection, which actually is a USB, and then the wires here that you connect to your garage door opener. And I'll have to check the directions if the blue and the brown actually make a difference, which way they go. Uh, which, by the way, and directions right there. We won't be referencing those much. We'll just uh, toss those right up in. Uh, power uh, supply there. And then we have the sensor. The sensor one is for telling this if the door is at least closed anyway. Uh, it's not gonna be able to tell like if the door is maybe you know, like part way in between. But at the very least, I mean, you'll know, okay, the door is not shut. So that is the uh, the purpose of this uh, piece right here. So it should be a relatively easy install one. We've got to get the sensor mounted and I'll have to uh, close the door here and figure out how and where I can uh, mount that. So basically, I mean, you got a piece that's gonna go on the door and then this we're gonna mount probably up here somewhere, or again, we'll have to figure that out of one. Uh, so again, the uh, sensor here, or the, the unit here, can tell if the door is closed, or at least partially open anyway. Okay, when I got the uh, sensors installed up here, a little bit maybe of an unconventional location, because rather than putting it in maybe the middle of the door, which was probably most people would think, I put it along the uh, side here, and that way I've got a nice easy spot to run the wire along here all the way back. Um, in the middle here, there's just not a good spot to run that wire, but I didn't want it getting damaged. So I put it over here in the corner, uh, and if you can see it up there, so there's the one, I screwed that one on, one, and then I got that one screwed down to the door as well. Now it does say in the manual to maybe a double-sided tape this one, because sometimes the metal-to-metal -metal contact can mess with it. Uh, we'll see once if that's going to be an issue or not. Um, I much more prefer, you know, a hard, like, screw mount than uh, double-sided tape. Just, uh, I don't know, I don't have much faith in the double-sided tape I in an application like this, uh, especially the double-sided tape they provide. Now, maybe it'll work on one, I don't know, but uh, we'll see once. Anyway, we got that on one. We'll move on to installing the actual opener itself now. Okay, well, we're gonna install the uh, unit here, has the uh, two wires. I cannot find any indication in the manual what color wire goes where, so we're just gonna stick them in and uh, go with it here. And on this one, I already have them kind of sort of marked, I guess you could say, because we got two wires going into them here from a switch that's in the house. Hopefully there's room for these in here. Well, maybe not. There's already two wires in here, so. What kind of connector does it have? Just to push in spring loaded connector kind of like your wago strips yep i think we'll just try and see if it works if okay. not i'm gonna have to come up with a different connector Alrighty. how are we gonna go about testing it i right, get the phone and uh, get the app set up all right Hesita Power. hesitantly optimistic Okay, next up, Evan, you're going to download the Miros app here. And then once you're in the app, if this is the uh, first time you set it up, you're going to have to go ahead and set up an account. We're going to go ahead and uh, do that off camera here in a minute. And once we're done, we'll be back. Okay, now that you have your account set up, Evan, we're going to go to the plus icon up top there. Bluetooth permission, yep. And we are looking for, oh, okay, allow. Smart garage door opener. Uh, we have that one right there, the MSG100. Yep, start. Next up, input the uh, manufacturer and model number of your uh, garage door opener. In this case, uh, Chamberlain Liftmaster 3255M. Found it. Uh, connect the power cut. Yep, we already got that done. Uh, yes, it is. Connecting device. This may take a few seconds. Okay. Connect, yep. All 
Okay, we'll be back right after this part of one. Okay, and of course, on the previous step, I want you input your Wi-Fi information that you want it to connect to, which we just finished doing. Now we're waiting for that to set up here a minute. Set up first, yeah, start hardware deployment. Oh, let's Please get started. Close your garage door at this moment. Yeah, okay. Like, we're gonna listen to that. Okay, move the sensors together apart. The status LED will blink. Okay, let's give that a try. Wanna go ahead and uh, shut it? You want us in here? Okay, we'll say yes, the sensors work. Uh, mounting examples, we'll be doing uh, alignment number two right there. I think it'll work best in our case. We are mounting it up top. Wall garage door, yep, okay. Guess we hit next. Wait, yes it works, and then Oh, next, next. okay, we here we go. Ah, uh, okay. Paul's got it. Oh, uh, let's see, power off your smart, yeah, wire does, uh, okay, yep, next. Next, oh yeah, it does say wire order does not matter. I guess we uh, jumped head up and we already have it, I actually mounted up there, whoops. Shame on us. Next. Power on both existing garage door opener and smart garage door opener. Smart door opener will reconnect. Next, got it. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay, it's saying it's open. Oh, that worked. It says it's closing now. So yeah, it's, got yeah, it backwards. it's backwards, that's fine. I, I'm Okay, when well, we uh, did a little troubleshooting here, it took us, uh, I don't know, probably like a half hour to figure this out. But we finally figured it out. Uh, the sensor just was not working, everyone. Uh, kept plugging, unplugging, uh, tried to reposition the sensor. Just, so it, and there's not a real good indication on the app either, I mean, like when it's closed, uh, at least if you're paying attention anyway. Um, when I finally figured out, I mean, actually, let me have the camera here a minute. <laughs> this wire right here, one. so this is your sensor connection wire. The red wire was pushed out, and it looks like maybe it is ever so slightly still yet. It was pushed out ever so slightly, and of course, so the connector wasn't making a good connection. And uh, that was our problem, everyone. Once I uh, pushed that red wire back in there a little bit, uh, now it's working great. It shows as closed. And actually, if you look at your... Right now, it should show as open. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. At the, it is yeah, open. Yeah, it so. kept showing as open no matter what we did. So if you close it here a minute. Just so it's open. Go and close it says it's actively closing. Yep. Oh, there's an animation too. I never saw that before. Yep. And once it's closed here, closing, closed. There we go. Evan. And then, oh, and there's the alert. So yeah, alert. We're good. Yeah. So that finally figured that out one. Yeah, it was just, uh, and again, the sensor's mounted up over there. I've one. I, I took the whole sensor apart. I was, uh, well, not the sensor itself, but I took it off. I was playing around with it playing around with this. I just, yeah, couldn't figure out what was going on. And then finally, I was like, oh, that little red wire was sticking out there. So, oh, no, door's opening. Door's opening. <laughs> now okay, fun. yeah, now we got stuff we can play with, everyone. <laughs> okay, well, we've got the uh, unit all installed here. Also, I tidied up the uh, wire in here. I've got it all stapled up along there and stapled up along this board. I should probably have, like, one more staple in the middle there, but the car is kind of, uh, kind of in the way there. I don't know if I can pull that a little tighter. Or at the very least, yeah, I should probably have another staple in the middle of one. I'll see once. Maybe I can throw one more in there, yeah, to back the car out or something. But yeah, I got this, uh, I just double-sided sticky tape that out there. One. I know I was saying earlier in the video about uh, double-sided tape in the sensor, uh, which, by the way, was not the issue again. Um, I did double-sided tape that one up there. We'll see once how that uh, goes. I was a little concerned about the wires up here, one, but it uh, seems like that's not causing a problem here. I should probably double-check to make sure the button over there works and our... Uh, button in the house still works as well make sure those are all working um if not i mean i might have to redo something with the wire in there we'll see once but uh, for now one i think that's working pretty good and i'm happy with it so far we'll uh we'll see once how it works there's a lot of different uh, features in the app you can do with this so i'll have to play around with that a little bit more and uh see once if there's any uh, configuration uh, changes we want to make i know there's like some auto close times and you know close at night uh at a certain time of the night you can just have it automatically close not necessarily maybe a bad idea you know 10 o'clock at night, you forget to close the door. Hey, it all make it closes for you. Um, not necessarily a bad thing, I don't think. So, yeah, anyway, everyone, hope you folks enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions about this, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And uh, real quick here again, if you're wondering, this is the unit we got, the uh, Smart Wi-Fi Garage Door Opener. This is the MSG 100.